Hey there, tonight I had leftover stuffed green pepper. And the cat helped by licking it clean, pretty much. <laughs> so, the dishwasher won't have to work so hard. Yesterday I was really busy. Where's the camera? Right there, right there. How am I going to look at you without looking at Anyway, yesterday I was really busy painting and cleaning and all that stuff outside. Today I could hardly move. My lower back hurt so badly. I couldn't move hardly and I woke up thinking, well it's a good thing I don't have to pee real bad because I can't move. And yeah, I've been taking handfuls of ibuprofen and you're not supposed to, but what am I going to do? It hurts real bad. I put ice on it. I haven't put a heating pad on it, but I might. It's hurting real bad. <sighs> the windows are still open. It's been nice and cool for the last couple nights, but the humidity is picking up and it's going to get warm again. And humidity is not good for my back either. So I will make one final last clean of the window air conditioner with disinfectant spray and, I'll, and wipe it all nice and clean. Maybe a little bleach water or something and uh, they'll be all ready when I do turn it back on tomorrow. What else? My cushion money, uh, usually I squirrel money away and I live as frugally as I can, but my cushion money for emergencies is already gone. I used it to, for the tree for branch removal and all that stuff. So nothing better happen. <laughs> nothing bad. Because I don't have the money. Tomorrow, maybe, if I feel, my body feels up to it, we'll take that bicycle ride up a few blocks to the apple tree and we'll fetch some apples so we can make apple pie and apple butter. And then I've got stuff to do inside of course and a few outside -y stuff. But it is nice to step into the garage and there's less crap in there. You know? It is a good feeling. It's like anything, you know, exercising or anything. Once you start doing it, it's not so bad. Once you start doing it, it's not so bad. Ooh, out of context, sounds pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> so I've got court at the end of the month. I know it'll be court costs, whatever that is. I'm estimating 30 bucks. God knows what else. Better not be anything else. I will be armed to the teeth with papers and photos and letters and everything to stand my ground and fight for myself. I will be ready. And at the end of the month, for a nice treat for myself, and I bought the ticket as soon as they went on sale, to see Eddie Izzard. Yeah. When I did fall asleep, though, I had a dream. A couple dreams that were seemed to be run into each other with the same type of people. A bunch of people that had a lot of money. And... I somehow know them. Go figure. I mean, I used to work for someone that had money and all their friends, and I worked for their friends and everything, too, so maybe it's those people. Because I'm not white trash, I'm just poor. And a lot of them, you know, if I had money, they might have been my friends. I don't know, I, it doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. Anyway, one of the dreams were having steak and chicken and all kinds of stuff, and this person had great big dogs and a young male lion. And then the lion came and was begging french fries off my plate. Weird, huh? And he was nudging me like the cat does, nudging me, nudging me. Well, maybe it was a cat trying to wake me up because he's always wanting something to eat. And then another part of the dream was somebody was imitating Trump, big old guy in a suit. And on his arm was this woman all dolled up. She was like 200 pounds more than Melania, though. And people were, you know, laughing and thinking it was funny and all that. And the guy got in front of me and pushed himself right in front of me, turned around and put his ass in my face. So what did I do? Uh, I bit it. Well, I hope my back feels better tomorrow so I can get some stuff done. Oh, I do have a joke for you for Whoop Whoop Wednesday. It's ready and waiting. 
for some reason the SD card didn't want to take this particular vlog. I had a better one. It just, yeah, well, whatever. Upward and onward.